Hey everyone. Hi. We're back to do another video. This time we're in our pajamas. Um, so you liked our uh, cinnamon whiskey um, taste tests a lot because we had like 450 views and 111 comments. So wow. some of you had suggested that we do one on eggnog. So I got the different eggnog flavors that we have. So I'm going to show you uh, the different kinds we have. So this is, uh, and these are chilled by the way. I put them in the freezer for like two hours. This is Pennsylvania Dutch eggnog. Hi, Crystal. This is Evan Williams eggnog. And I'm pretty sure this is all backward for you. <laughs> this is Christian Brothers holiday nog. So that one would already have brandy in it then, yeah? Made with brandy. All right, cool. And this one... It's a little different because, look at there's ice on the outside. Oh, it's Ooh, cold. that's cold. It's because it was in the freezer. This one is Three Olives Eggnog Vodka. So this isn't like a drink. This is just a shot. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I know. It's kind of weird. Um, I just noticed it today at work, and I was like, oh, maybe I should get that. I didn't even know they made eggnog and vodka. And then, um, I, besides that, we're having just regular eggnog Mixed with brandy, which is how you normally would drink eggnog. It's the most popular way. It's the most popular way. And I got Christian Brothers brandy for that. Non-flavored. It's just brandy. Because my store has multiple flavors of Christian Brothers. So, hi Heather. By the way, eggnog is nasty. Eggnog is delicious, which is why we're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first one up. These were um, the same price. What? Oh, nothing. Go ahead. These were all the same price, so there's no particular order. Like with the whiskey, we did it in um, the cheapest one first. But this time, we're going to go ahead and do the vodka first because we want to get the vodka out of the way because this is a shot. Now, this was not the same price as the others. Dog, what are you doing? <laughs> so this was $19.99. Well, now you called her over. No, go lay down. This was $19.99. And I really wish they had a smaller bottle because I'm not sure. <laughs> well, you're, since your daughter's not old enough to have real eggnog yet, um, she doesn't get a vote. <laughs> yeah, but it's good. I mean, if you don't like it plain, then yeah. sometimes, I mean, even adding alcohol doesn't help the flavor. Okay, so three olives, eggnog, vodka. This is... Um, oh, I'm blocking myself before I do all the sugar. This is 60 proof. And like I said, we're just doing a shot of this because we're not going to drink, like, a lot. Yeah, because it's okay. a, a lot of sugar. Yeah, there's a lot of sugar in it. So she's taking her, her block to block out the carbs and sugars that we're about to intake with these shots. Okay, so this is the first one. This is the eggnog vodka. It smells like vodka. <laughs> Well, Crystal don't have that much of it. We usually only buy like one container for the whole season. <laughs> yeah, we don't usually do. Otherwise, I'll drink a lot of it too. Yeah, we usually just buy like what one or two of those small and. That's yeah, and they're small ones. It. Yeah, but now they have the um, almond milk eggnog. So. Really. Yeah, that's a Target. We should try that. I didn't I'll know they made that. that. I didn't either. Mm, mm -hmm. well, that's cool. Okay, cheers, first one. Ready? Go. Yeah. Uh, that's that was, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. But I don't really, it doesn't really, I don't think eggnog right away. No, I don't think eggnog right away either. But it's still pretty good. And it's Three Olives, and Three Olives is an okay brand. <laughs> Hi, Trista. Yeah. I'm, What's a blocker? Oh, it's a, um, it blocks 48% of carbs and sugars. Oh, it's, it's called backwards. block. It's backward though. It's not K C O L B. It's B L O C K. <laughs> yeah, you just take it before like your biggest meal or anything you're gonna eat with like carbs and sugars, and uh, yeah, it blocks it for you, so it helps you not absorb. You can buy it at Target, I'm sure. No, you can't. What? You can get it from me. I'll hook you up. Um, hi, Trista. We miss you too. Yeah, uh, we're Brian. Just out soon. Just message her and she'll tell you how to get, and she'll give you more information about it. Oh yeah, it's cool. It blocks 48% of your sugars and carbs for meals, and you can take it when you eat. 
-hmm. You don't have to take it beforehand. Mm -hmm. This is Christian Brothers Holiday Nog. Okay. This was $9.99. And this one is... <laughs> this one is yellow number five. Now I can't figure that. <laughs> this one, this one is forty proof. Glug 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 glug. See, I think when we do the um, the uh, uh, Irish cream, that because we're gonna have people over for that, that it'll be a, a blind taste taste test so like i'll be the only one who knows because i'm gonna number the glasses and the Ooh, bottles so when people clever. pick their favorite ones i will reveal what they are hi alicia hi it's going good bronson okay so far so this is the christian brothers christian brothers okay this is 9.99 like i said and it's 40 proof okay now this isn't called eggnog this is called nog Whatever nog. a nog is. Yeah, holiday nog. Okay. Okay. Mmm. That one's good. Mm -hmm. I like that one. It's not like it's not thick or anything either. It's a very like Yeah, see there's no and it's not it's not overly coating. like spice it's not like really spicy. So there's not really that like eggnog spice, like you can taste it, but it's not Yeah. It's not super spicy. I, I, I like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that one, we'll put that one in, in front of the three olives. We'll put that one in front of the three olives. Okay, the next one is Evan Williams, eggnog. This one is 30 proof. So this one's the, the smallest out of all of them. Oh, the other one was 20 proof. I did the percentage wrong. It said 20 proof on it. So this is 30 proof. So this is a little bit more. Sorry, I missed. Ooh, boozy cupcakes, huh? Oh, what did I just do to your phone? You're doing it wrong. Don't touch my phone. Okay. There we go. Oh, wait, I'm switching glasses. We're doing different clean glasses so that there's no mixing of the flavors. This one's thicker. I can already tell. Oh yeah. Okay. So in this one, so it's Evan Williams, so it's was it a bourbon whiskey? Bourbon whiskey. Awesome. You can tell oh, because it's blended green. Blended whiskey, rum, and brandy. So it's got like everything. Oh wow, rum yeah, and Evan brandy. Evan Williams is is a, is a bourbon good whiskey. whiskey and blended whiskey. Okay, now Evan Williams. Mm. That one's pretty good too. This one's thicker. You can tell. Do you want to leave your charger because your phone is low? Well, I can't have it setting up right. No. That's weird because I charged it to 27%. Oops. This one's thicker than the other one. That one's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to go rinse these out so we can do the last. The last one. Hmm. I know it's thicker. That one's a little has a little more of the the spice to it. Like it's not um. I don't know. I think the little Christian Brothers one's a little lighter. I don't know. What do you think? What? Like it's just not like the flavor's a little bit lighter. Like the eggnog flavor. Yeah. Okay. Last one. This one's Pennsylvania Dutch. I was just there a couple weeks ago yeah. in Dutch country in Pennsylvania. We got a lot of this. There's tons of boxes of this. We have a wall built in the middle of our store out of this. I like this. Yeah, I think I like the I like having that spice to the eggnog. It just kind of makes it more of like that holiday eggnog flavor. The holiday would be Thanksgiving. Sure, you know, Christmas, Hanukkah. Because that's the time of year it is, is Thanksgiving season. Oh, wait, they don't call it Thanksgiving season, do they? No. What do you call it? It's still Christmas season, and then Thanksgiving it's, happens that's why in the I middle say of the holiday season. Holiday season, because it's holidays. There's always holidays. It's, yeah, vet, but this is it's a Veterans Day season. That is next week. It's Veterans Day season. 
Sure. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> so drink eggnog to celebrate Veterans Day. Yes, I agree, Trista. It does give the special. No, you can thing. decorate for Christmas, like uh, on the first of November. Don't attack! Yeah, don't attack! <laughs> no, that's fine. I agree. I that's would fine. be decorating, but we don't really decorate because our dog would probably eat any of the decorations that we do anyway. And you drink that without me. You're talking. Okay. Oh, that's okay. It's Pennsylvania. Oh yeah, I forgot to say the, the, the proof. This is 29.5 proof because it wasn't good enough to be that 30. <laughs> So it's the same proof of the, as the Evan Williams. Hmm. Also $9.99. Cause I know we've had this before, but now, well, I mean, obviously when you yeah. compare them. Um, I think I like Evan Williams more. I think I do too. It has that spice. This one's, I mean, it's good. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah. Now we're going to actually um, mix because we're making our own. This is a this is how would you could do it, you know, on your own. Okay. Yeah. I think the Evan Williams is like the number one for me right now. Okay. <clears throat> how much brandy do I put in it? Well, let's go for it, I guess. That's just a little bit. Yeah, I'll just do a little because we just poured a little in the cup. Okay. Well, the brandy is 80 proof. Oh, wait. At least was, which was the thickest one? Um, e Evan Williams was Either the Evan Williams or the Pennsylvania Dutch. That one was pretty thick, too. Um, no. Nah, eh, yeah, Evan and Pennsylvania Dutch was probably about the same. Fallon, the whole thing. Hi, Fallon. <laughs> Trista, you don't want to do a Trista pour. <laughs> we could do a Trista pour, which would be like, what, like, most of them? Wingardium Leviosa. No. All right. It's a chopstick. I'm using it to stir. Who needs spe the special stir sticks you have in the drawer? Oh, yeah. I could just cut one of those. No, it's but... okay. This is easier to clean. Yeah, it's easier to clean off a chopstick. Yeah. Because you go like this. Mmm, all clean. I can put it back in the drawer Don't now. Put that back in the drawer. <laughs> no, I'll wash it. Okay, so this is the the uh, Bud's ice creams of San Francisco eggnog with brandy. Oh, a Trista pour is like two and a half shots. Ooh. Fireball in huh? in eggnog? Oh, I don't know. I don't, know that. I don't think you're supposed to put that in it. Cause it's cinnamon. Oh, yeah, I can smell the brandy in there. Okay, this is well, this is eggnog thickness. Yeah. See the. Yeah. Okay. Um. I didn't even really taste the brandy in it. I taste it. Yeah. I taste it. Um. I don't know. It's just different after tasting these because I feel like those are a little bit mm -hmm. sweeter. So I couldn't find, Crown doesn't have one that, like, at our store we don't have one. Oh, but maybe they have one to set another Well, store. and when I went to Target, they didn't have one either. Okay, so, this one right here, we're not mixing with anything. We're not? Or are, oh yeah, we are. I, okay. Oh, well you wanted to try something. This isn't part of the <laughs> taste test, but we already had this in our fridge. And this is pumpkin spice eggnog. So we're gonna try the pumpkin spice eggnog with um, with Captain Morgan. All I had was white rum. Oh, I know you're not supposed to use white or, oh, I'm just now opening it. Oh, it's new. Um, you're supposed to use a gold rum, according to Google. But uh, I don't have gold rum on my bar. Yeah, I think we just ran out. I don't think I've ever bought gold rum. Yeah, we've had it. We've had it. Well, we had a dark rum too. Well, we had dark rum. I just. We don't. We just I would either get out. spiced rum or the silver spiced rum. Okay. Let me give it a go. Okay, last last one. This is the pumpkin spice eggnog with uh, Captain Morgan in it. Okay.
That's my favorite, but it's not part of it. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. No. I mean, it's okay. You don't like it? This is not my favorite. Okay. So, here's the order of our favorites <laughs> before my phone dies. Evan Williams is number one. I agree. She agrees. Christian Brothers Holiday Nog is number two. See, that's hard for me. It's either the Christian Brothers or the Pennsylvania Dutch. They're kind of neck and neck for me. Okay. So I kind of like the I like the texture, like the thickness of this kind one. They're kind of tie. But, yeah. Um, I don't know. I think I like the Pennsylvania yeah. Dutch a little bit better. And both of them are the same price, so price point isn't really... And then this was okay, um, Sorry. but not as an eggnog. So it's just eggnog flavored uh, vodka. I was thinking, what would you mix it with? Um, I don't know. Eggnog? I don't know. Ooh, let's try it mixed with regular eggnog. <laughs> we'll try the, the eggnog vodka with eggnog. I wonder if it'll even mix or if it'll separate. Uh, well, we'll find out. We can make eggnog vodka cheese. What? Well, it'll oh, 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 oh. It'll curdle on its own. <laughs> Co oh, coffee. Hey, I didn't think about that. Yeah, you can mix it in coffee. Your vodka? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, a white Russian. Yes. Ooh. Trista. Yes, my girl. Yes. White Russians. That's a good idea. It'll might just add a little, little something. Mm-hmm. Okay, good, so then this bottle won't go to waste. <laughs> it was not bad, it's just not like, I don't think eggnog when I taste it. Like, it's not a very heavy eggnog flavor, which I guess is also good, because you don't really, I don't know, I just don't think eggnog okay. is vodka. Are you ready? Or are you still drinking the last one? <laughs> oh yeah, try the rest in alcohol on your education. <laughs> okay, so this is the eggnog. Oh, you know what, actually that last little, like, that was actually better. Hi, Jerry. Hey, Jerry. It's great seeing you last night at dinner with Darth Vader. And the night before. Yes. It was a good weekend. It was a fun weekend. It really was. It was busy. I went to work tired this morning, even though I got a full night's sleep. It was It was a busy weekend, though. But, yeah, it yeah, was very fun. busy. Okay, so this is eggnog mixed with eggnog vodka. That's good. That is pretty good. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I still would leave um, this at the bottom, though, just as a standalone. But mixed with regular eggnog, it's, it's pretty good. I don't know. It's just not one I would, like, randomly take, you know? Do it again. Yeah. We got to do it again. Yeah, we do. We'll have to get together before because your hands are cold. Oh, I thought you had like cold hands. <laughs> this is even colder. Duh! Oh, it's, like, frozen on the bottom. Yeah, I took them out of the freezer. Oh, we had enough frozen yesterday. Get it? Because the frozen was at MouseCon. Yeah. Yeah, we had MouseCon yesterday. I know I'm not as funny as you, but I tried. Um, it was fun. It was a great MouseCon. It was. Uh, Jerry was my uh, booth buddy. He again. Was, again, we all, we always we're always booth buddies. So he was right next to me, and we were at the entrance. And instead of there being a weight championship in the room, or uh, weightlifters championship in the room next to us. Where we didn't get Disney people walking past us. It was Disney people this time. So Yay. I sold about 30 books and 70 pins. Yeah. So it was a good day. Yeah, we were like steady all day, which was cool. It was very steady all day. Um, I was getting text messages from Tinkerbell while we were sitting there. And I couldn't <laughs> respond to her. Because I was busy a lot. We like never left yeah. the table. Like no. what, once or twice? That's like it. I left. I left once. I think I did too. Because I wanted to go meet Cat Cressida. The That's voice, when I left too. The voice of the attic bride in the Haunted Mansion. I went to go see her. It was the end of the it was almost the end of the night, so. Yeah. Alright. Well, thank you for watching. Um I don't know when we'll do another one. Cause you know this stuff costs money, so um yeah. Yep, hanging out. Well, we'll see you at Christmas time, Jerry, so. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. December. Yeah, yeah, so um, everybody have a good night, and we'll talk to you later. Yeah, bye. Bye. Fin ah, my phone almost <laughs> fell. Ah!